The reason he could see the explosion before we could hear it is because light travels so much faster than sound, around a million times faster. Light travels at 300 million meters per second. It travels faster than a vacuum. And a vacuum is when there's no particles. We find it somewhere in space. It's an electromagnetic wave. Where sound is a different type of wave. It is a longitudinal wave or a pressure wave and it travels around 340 meters per second in air. Here you can see the shock wave approach. A shock wave is formed an explosion that releases a massive amount of energy quickly. It travels faster than surrounding air can move out of the way like in a normal sound wave. This then causes the air molecules to compress and pile up. This causes a sudden and dramatic increase in pressure across a very thin boundary known as the shock front. Think of it like a snow plow shoving a pile of snow. The snow piles up in front instead of moving out the way. Close to the explosion, you wouldn't hear anything before that shock wave hits. It can deafen you because it causes a sudden spike in air pressure that can damage that delicate structures of your inner ear, like your eardrum. Further away, the shock wave has weakened because the energy spread out over a larger area. It slowed down and now it's a sound wave. And that sound wave then is why you hear that loud bang, like we can see in the video. Follow me for more physics content like this.